All right, I got 21 Imperial Noodle units from the corner here to the corner there. And as long as I have that distance and this is 90 degrees and they're parallel to each other, I can put a piece of something in here that'll hold them like that. So maybe I'll use this actually. If I cut this correctly, I could have it overlap there then come up and test a couple. Yeah, I think uh, I think I got it.
You know, I think I should take this blade off before I end up cutting my elbow on it or something. This entire thing is upside down right now. So when this is in the right orientation, it's going to have to hold up the weight of the whole motor. Just pressing on here, which I think it can do fine. But then it's also going to be running, so it's going to be vibrating. And I'm sure there's going to be some time when I accidentally drop that and it smashes into here. So I should probably reinforce this a bit. Maybe if I put something right in there and something right in here, just to give it a bit of extra strength. That would be a good idea. Oh, also I'm kind of stupid here. I need to cut this at an angle, take this chunk off so I can actually drill into this. This is in the way right now. So. Oh, you mean like that? Yes! That's exactly what I mean. All right, beautiful. Now let's get this out of here. So I'm thinking, drill some holes and rivet it in there. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. And now I'm thinking maybe I should rivet this in here instead of doing bolts, because if I do bolts I have to reach way up there to get the nuts in. Huh. I think that's it for this piece. I got eight rivets on, in this side and the other side. I think that'll be enough. Uh, I guess I should flip it over and just, you know, put it in the correct orientation just to check everything looks good. I don't really want to flip over this heavy thing, though. Ah, whatever. Okay, let's do it. Alright, what are we doing here? Hmm. Oh, I feel like that has got to be bending this thing. Is that bending this thing? Okay, the one more thing I have to do with this is this whole thing has to be able to stand up vertically. So when this comes up, it's going to hit here. And I'm pretty sure I need to trim some of this off and some of this. So I guess I'll just tip it up and check. I'm pretty sure this is fine. I, it was a bit of a tight squeeze getting the blade to fit here and then this to the, you know, where I think it's not gonna be in the way. All right, let me check it out. Well, that's not too hard. And it looks like I don't have to cut that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. One of the things I was worried about was this saw, with this saw is that this thing is gonna be hard to move up and down, but, ah, piece of cake. All right, I just need to make a, Mark with my marker where I need to cut this. Just do a bit of trimming. That piece is easy right there. I need to make a cut right there. And then, well, I think I can get in there actually. I think I can get the thing in here, blade sideways like that. And then cut that right there. And then get it in here. Yeah, I think I can do it without removing the whole thing. All right, that'll be a piece of cake. And if I take off this handle, I think, like, well, let me leave the handle on while I'm doing the, these two cuts, and I'll take the handle off. Should be able to get the other two. All right, back in a minute. Cool. All right, let's cross those fingers.
Oh. Cut this side too. All right, a little more trimming. Almost got it. Oh, what's it hitting now? Oh, crap. Anyway, that's pretty much done. I just have to grind these down. I don't know, like a little bit. So it can come up against this and actually be 90 degrees. Okay.